Hi, my name is Chris. I'm an artist in Melbourne, and this is week 17 of my journey through the Milan Art Institute Mastery Program. Uh, so this is the first week of the mixed media and voice section. Um, so it's a little bit of a change of pace, and I, I mean, you'll see on the video, but I'll talk about this painting that I did. So um, the assignment was to work with acrylics, like figure out how to work with acrylics. She, um, Ellie showed us how to sort of spray water and do washes to kill the white. And then you work um, light to dark using transparents and then dark to light using opaques. Um, and that's your underpainting. Uh, and then once all the acrylic is dry, then you go with the oils over the top. So we did a uh, glaze layer. So I glazed this bit in warm blue, and this bit's in warm blue, and then the side bit's in cool blue. Um, and then with the flesh tones on, I glazed those in more of an orange color. So this is a warm orange. This is warm orange here. It's still wet, I just touched it. Um, and the cool orange sort of at the sides. Um, so this was my first attempt at combining acrylics and oils and um, I wanted to keep a lot of uh, the this whole pattern in here is from the acrylic um, and I wanted to keep that and um, I you know it's pretty successful but I think that um, it's uh, not it, the composition it's so closely cropped in that there isn't a whole there isn't a whole lot of background to it like you know the the face is is all on one plane to about here and then it's just like a little bit of background at the sides um so you don't really get much sense of depth in it um so i think that uh, perhaps i could have pushed that further and um it's not i did some dry brushing i put some texture on underneath here um and i did some dry brushing it's very subtle but yeah, it's just, it's cool. I like it. I really like the blue. I like this vignette um, effect here. And then you've got the contrast. And I like how, you know, the eyes are more rendered. So that sort of draws you in. They draw you in anyway. But, you know, having that sort of more rendered uh, pulls, pulls the, you know, makes it more high contrast here. It pulls you in. And then the, the hands, I like the way that they're sort of just, um, you know, you can tell that they're hands, but I haven't really rendered them properly. So all in all, um, it's good, but it's not like, I'm not feeling it, you know? It's not like my process. Um, the other part of the week was we, um, we watched a video about um, art history. And normally when you go to art school, they do art history, it's chronological. So you kind of understand the progress of things chronologically and, and how things developed and sort of what was a backlash to what. But the way Ellie organized this lecture was around the elements of art. So, so uh, form and line, for example. And then she sort of organized it as like in um, Byzantine period when they were sort of discovering form and line and sort of building up those skills. And then she uh, identified a few modern movements where they're sort of pulling those uh, elements apart and sort of deconstructing them. So, uh, so she went through all the different elements light and dark and beauty and realism and stuff like that so um it's really interesting because you could sort of see how they respond to each other on that level and sort of like you discover it and then 300 years later people are um pulling it apart and and undiscovering it um and then at the end she sort of brought it all together and said like well this is the best time to be an artist because you can you've got all this stuff like all these materials that have been invented um, in the last 2000 years and all these ideas and thoughts like everything's been sort of explored so now combine that with modern technology to reach your audience you know you just this is it you, there's a new renaissance um, and we're going to create a new movement so uh, and then we had to answer some questions about ourselves I guess like what um, what's really important to us if we had all the money in the world what would we do what kind of change do we want to see in the world? Where do we see ourselves in one year, five years? The usual kind of stuff that you have to ask yourself. Um, but I think doing that as part of this program is hopefully going to lead into something and figure out 
how to take that information and actually do something with it because I think that's what's been lacking in other programs. It's like, yeah, okay, I can answer these questions, but then what do I do with it? <laughs> um, especially with my work, like some people, if you do pet portraits, like it's fairly obvious who you need to talk to, what kind of events to go to, but I'm not, if, if it's obvious to you what I should be doing, where I should be going to show my work, please comment below because it's not entirely obvious to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's week 17 and next week we're doing paper. We're going to start working on paper and this is the last time we'll be working on canvas for a while. So that'll be exciting. I do usually work on paper, um, but I, I've had a little sneak peek and I think there's definitely going to be a lot to learn about working on paper, um, especially when it comes to putting oil paints on paper because that's a little bit special. So, all right. Um, if you like what you see and you want to follow my journey, you can subscribe to me on YouTube. I've got a blog. Um, you can follow me on social media and I'll see you next week. All right.